My name is Dr. Albert Putnam. I'm a pioneer in the emergent field of geoengineering. Each day, I wake up and watch the sky. micro telescope well it's very portable and I have it hooked up to a, a small computer device and it's just basically I just record the, the, the trails behind the planes and then uh, just to have some evidence because you can tell the difference when you're looking at them which one is a, is a con trail and which one is a chem trail so I, I just need to it's for a historical purposes and for what are exactly chemtrails. Chemtrails could t contain any number of things. Sometimes they're just uh, with, with heavy metals to attract water particles so that uh, they can change weather patterns to disguise the appearance of Planet X because it's coming soon. Or sometimes they also put uh, viruses and bacteria. Recently there was, there's been epidemics uh, all over North America of flu-like symptoms that last more than more than a flu. And when you go to the doctor, they, they can't figure out what it is. It, it's, uh, it's a way of the, the Illuminati is planning on reducing reducing the population by four billion and uh, this is a, 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 an easy way and people will just think that it's an epidemic and not just you know someone working against them and they won't they will have no nothing to re rebel against except the, the microorganisms in the sky so they drop it from airplanes yes it goes into the groundwater um, falls directly on you there's a new new di new disease that the FDA is just uh, uh, acknowledged called Morgellons disease and people develop these small fibers that come out of their skin they're plastic fibers and uh, it's serious you can there's you look on the on the FDA if you don't believe me it's it's a real thing that exists so it, anytime that, that you're in a area where you think that there's chemtrails you always need to cover up and make sure that you're not being directly rained on um, not even a few drops just you know always use an umbrella just because it's a dangerous thing and, and what are you doing about it uh, right now I'm just trying to spread spread the knowledge across across the, the world the internet is a good tool um, there's a lot of blogs there's a guy prophet Ezekiel doing the same thing another another website called New York Sky Watchers uh, who I learned about this kind of stuff from uh, this guy Jeff who I met at a bookstore uh, he's, 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 he's one of the guys who sits on on this roof also in, in Brooklyn and videotapes the sky and, uh, uh, Aren't you afraid that people will go after you? No. You're not going to be silenced. Well, in, in, until there's internet re regulation, everything should be okay. You know, sometimes they, they hack the website, but you can just put it back up. It's, it's pretty amateur. And what airliners do these things? 
Uh, um, it depends on the companies, you know. We haven't really developed it. There's a, the FedEx is really involved because they have the cargo planes with no windows. You can often see them, and uh, they 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 run these irregular flight patterns. If you watch them, and if you track their flight paths across the sky, they're often crisscrossing and forming grids and X's over urban areas where the there's not normally flight patterns, so there's definitely something suspicious going on with FedEx. Um, other commercial air airlines circling New York for, for two hours, you know, they tell you on the plane that it's just a delay, but they're really spraying chemicals. It's not because it's busy at the airports? No. Maybe sometimes, but... So, and um, these people that do that, um, I, do they get paid well? Um, it's not really about getting paid. They're more into power uh, and greed. They just they're trying to take over the planet, so for themselves, and then to have a you know a new world order. And, and that's, isn't that a good thing for them? If you can get on their side, then I guess you're okay. So you know. Uh, Go out and find them. Make friends with their kids. Go to their parties. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Albert. Uh, anything else you want to say? Um, keep watching the sky.